everybody, it's Kristen and I have a foundation review for you guys today. It's been a while since I did one of these and I've been using this one on and off for probably three weeks. I feel like I have a pretty good feel for it on most fronts. There's there's one sort of thing I'm kind of, I don't know, I kind of go back and forth on. But anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. The one that I'm talking about is the Lancome Tint Idel Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. This does have SPF of 50. 25 SPF of 15 in it this comes in a very nice glass bottle with a pump we'll talk a little bit more about that later and um, I think probably so first of all if you are new to one of my foundation reviews welcome and I have a five point system I have five categories that I give anywhere from zero to one point and then I come up with a total at the so end I'm going to go ahead and cut right into the demo of me putting on the foundation let you see that and then we'll come back and talk about the rest Okay, so we are going to see how lighting goes here. Um, I have the shade in 100. I probably already mentioned that. This is always the struggle when you're doing pieces before other pieces of videos. So I'm going to do half of my face with Beauty Blender. I'm going to kind of look in my mirror here and in the viewfinder. And I'll do half of my face with um, the Beauty Junkies brush. All right, I had it all over, my, all over myself. So this is with a... Not a beauty, this is a Beauty Junkies Pro Contour Blending Sponge, in case you're curious. I think I've talked about this in my last, or one of my last foundation videos, that um, this shade, by the way, is a little bit light for me, but it works with a little bronzer. Um, beauty, I feel like the, that Beauty Blender has been like, you know, like Kleenex is for all facial tissue. I think it's the same kind of thing now. All right, so that is with the Beauty Blender, and that's one layer. And let's do one layer on the other side. And the, you won't be able to see, you know, kind of what the actual coverage is when I do it like this because I'm doing two different types of application. All right, so this is the Beauty Junkie Flat Angled, angled Kabuki. can see how nice and easily. I do have, by the way, the Becca First Light Priming Filter on my face. All right. So you can see, I feel like I get a better, you know, better coverage with this, which makes sense. Normally the a beauty sponge will kind of shear things out a little bit. So I, know, I no longer live on, on a dead end. So I have to stop regularly when, when vehicles go past, but I'm happy to have the windows open. Can you hear the birds? Hopefully you can. All right, we're going to go in for another layer. I do this because people really like to see the difference. I don't feel like with this particular foundation, it makes that much of a difference whether I'm using the a beauty sponge or whether I'm using a brush. So I definitely, for ease, have been, oops, I almost lost my beauty blender, for, you know, kind of ease of application, I kind of have been using more, I don't need as much on the second layer over here because you get a better coverage. Um, because that beauty sponge, what I was saying, is that it, sh it shears it out just a little bit more. So I'm just kind of packing on where I need a little extra coverage with my redness there. So you can see, hopefully, you get, with the beauty sponge, with this or with most foundations, you get just a little bit more of a glowy sort of a look on, you know, so that's the side of my face with the beauty sponge than you do with this. But coverage-wise, I feel like you build up a little bit more quicker, more quickly with a, like a dense sort of kabuki brush. So anyway, again, beauty blender brush and you will see coverage wise which I'll talk about in a minute so I'm gonna put some concealer on so I want to make sure you see these sort of things you still see those they're not quite as prominent but you can still you can still see those I am gonna put some concealer on there but just so that you get the good view of it 
Okay, so before I get into um, you know the points and that sort of thing, I want to just read you what it says. I'm using this from Sephora's website. It says it's an oil-free, long-wearing liquid foundation that delivers medium to full coverage and leaves a natural-looking velvety matte finish for up to 24 hours. So I don't feel like you can really build it to a full coverage. As, as I showed you guys, you can still see some of, you know, kind of my older, that's like an older blemish where there's a like a darker pigmentation or whatever on my cheek. Spit it out, game. So I don't feel like it really builds to a full coverage. It's a very nice medium to medium full, uh, which is why I'm giving it a 0.75. I, you know, it, and it does, it has, um, well, so we're gonna move on and finish. And that's the, that's the category where I'm kind of iffy about. So it does have a really nice finish. It's, it's, it is a velvety matte finish. Some days I love the finish and I think it looks great. And some days it just doesn't. I've tried it with different types of primers, different types of days, um, you know, hotter days, just normal cool days, that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm a little bit iffy on it. Now, and I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. I do have, I lean towards the drier side of, of, of skin. And uh, I feel like it's almost not fair for me to do a foundation review in, in summer because it's not necessarily how it may react in the winter. So I may do kind of a follow-up if I still have it, but I'm, I'm happy with it and I've been using it quite a bit. I've been switching it on and off between that and the Misha Perfect cover right now. But at any rate, so for um, finish, I'm going to give it, let me just see what I did. Yeah, I gave it a 0.5 and that's only because I feel like some days it's great and some days it's not. So I'm kind of a little iffy on that. So <laughs> that is finish and coverage. So for color range, I'm giving this a full point. There are 40 shades. Yes, I said 40 shades. I think that's that's just crazy good. They really sort of run the gamut of shades. And that's great. I, I, I just, I love that about this. So I'm very, very happy with that. Um, packaging, I gave this a full point as well. It is a glass bottle, but it's not, you know, some glass bottles are super heavy. This. This one doesn't seem to be all that heavy. I've traveled with it and have had no issues. It's got a pump and a nice cap. The cap stays on. I like that. I, I think as you, um, if you are a person that travels quite a bit, you learn it's the little things that make a difference and a cap that stays on that makes a difference. So anyway, nice sleek little bottle. It's a, it is a one ounce. Yep. I double checked. It doesn't, I couldn't find it on here, but I found it on the website. It is one ounce of product, which is your standard. And on here it says wear and comfort retouch free retouch free divine perfection i don't know about divine perfection but anyway so then the last thing that i have on there is longevity and it really does last um and i don't have any powder on today i have used it with a powder foundation over the top of it and without for me to be able to go without a powder foundation, even with my dry skin for some reason, usually more oily skin, people have issues with longevity. Um, for me, I almost always have to put some kind of a powder foundation, not only for coverage, but also you know for longevity. I don't have to do that with this, and that is really nice. If you are a person that generally does that like me, you kind of struggle using cream products because maybe not struggle. I don't love to put cream products on top of a powder product. So I don't use and purchase a lot of, you know, like cream highlights or cream blushes or that sort of thing anymore because of that. So anyway, I just wanted to give that a mention. Um, this sells for $47. You know, I, you can, I'll list a bunch of places wherever you might like to shop. I'll list a bunch of places for you to go. You know, you can get it at Nordstrom, Sephora. I think Ulta sells Lancome. I'm almost positive. Ulta, Macy's, any sort, I'll, I'll list a bunch of places for you. <laughs> any sort of, you know, department store or, um, you know, beauty shop. That's not the word I'm looking for. You know, like a Sephora, carries it. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. So my total is a 4.25. That's a really good total for me. I, I'm very pleased with it and I will absolutely use it. This is one of the ones you guys were very curious um, about me reviewing for you. And again, I'm not sure, I did say it, I think, in the demo. I am in, the shade that I have is the shade 100. I probably would, could go one shade darker, but with, I think, hopefully it looks like that on camera, with a little bit of bronzer and that sort of thing, I can make this work for me. It's not like I get that much color in the summer, I try not to. So I can kind of make it work year round for you and it'll be, or for me, and it'll be perfect in the winter as well. So, the delightful birds, they're joining us. I'm not sure why I have that pillow hanging out right there. 
It's, it's, my room's a work in progress here. It's a work in progress. So anyway, I hope that that was helpful. If you have any questions or something you felt like I missed, go ahead and leave it below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. On the rest of my face, as I said in the demo, I did have the Becca um, First Light Priming Filter. For blush today, I have the Chanel Blush in Jersey. On my eyes, I have, on the lid, I have the um, Stila in smoldering satin and then for the rest of the shades I broke out my um, past couple of days my Anastasia Master by Mario palette and all I have is a little bit of this shade right here what is it Lula and then I have a little bit of NYC in the outer corner and on my lips today I have the Beauty Junkies liquid lipstick in Soulmate and then over the top of that I have the little gloss in mink no not mink mint pink satin and I think my friends that that is everything Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.